Hello YouTube. Uh, this is just going to be a quick update on my bike here. Uh, I am off uh, Forest Road 422. It started 253 and then it splits to the road that goes to Mountain Air. I turn right because I'm going to ride back to the highway. Uh, the highway goes to uh, the ruins are back there. The Obu ruins and then Mountain Air is over there. Um, you can see this absolutely beautiful little valley here. Uh, the fire uh, took out on the back side over here, but this side is, is untouched and you can see it's just really pretty back here. But, uh, anyways, quick updates on the bike. I did, uh, I did put the Baja Squadron light on. Um, I'm probably going to have to to cut around here because this the dims are um and i'm just not getting a lot out of there so i naturally want to pitch it up more for the brights but when i do that obviously then it's it's impeding here with uh, this so <coughs> i may just trim it straight across uh, when i cut plastic i use a roto zip uh, it's a spiral bit saw that's what i found that is just easy to control you know without a guide or anything like that so um, I decided I am going to get that three gallon tank. Um, I'll always carry gas. I am carrying gas, but what I'll do is I'll probably do the bottles, just some bottles here. That way I could use this more for hauling stuff. I really like this, this Tusk setup. It just, you know, it's, it's very minimalistic for this bike. These, uh, saddlebags are, um, just extra saddlebags that you can put on separate, but I put on, I put them on just because of these are occupied with gas. And then uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them once this frees up. I, I like them because they're there's really quick access bags, you know, for just smaller stuff. I keep my gun in there. I have a sandwich and some. Then I, in here I have my jacket, water, Gatorade, tools. Can't forget about your tools. Um, so so yeah, um, I did uh, do another up. I did put that Amy CU in, and it's doing it's doing really phenomenal. And the other video I did, I can't believe how better it is on the road. I was concerned about, because I have a rim lock on the front. I was going to take it out, but I don't think I'm going to take it out now. Obviously, the the uh, the tires are balanced. Um, but uh, I thought that rim lock was uh, <coughs> was, uh, <coughs> was was the problem. And it that computer just, man, it just makes the bike run so much better. I have yet to still try those other modes. I... I Every time, you know, when I go camping, it's just busy. It's just nonstop busy. And I brought the dog. I have to take care of him. So there's always just something to do. So, yeah, I'm going to get that gas tank. Uh, what else am I going to do to this? I'm trying to think. Um, I am thinking about some kind of crash bars on the bottom for this guy. However, I haven't, the times I've laid it over, I haven't laid it over on rock. So I don't know if it would hit here anywhere. Um... But, you know, the bike's lightweight right now. I really don't want to mess with it. I'm debating whether I have a uh, 52, I think, tooth sprocket. I'm debating on whether to put that on. Um, just because the gearing right now, it's it's perfect, actually. I don't think I need to mess with any. So I may, it was a, uh, it's a super sprocket. So I may order the, the stock 51 to put on. Because that guy's aluminum and, you know, anything aluminum, you worry about it, it breaking. Um, let's see, what else have I done on this guy? That light was the biggest one. Uh, pretty simple install. Oh, the other the, the other thing I wasn't too happy about is you could see this. There's a relay right here. That relay, the wiring on it, it just forces that wire to go right at like a U-turn. You know, not even 90 degrees. So I'm gonna have to clean that up. And I just don't like the way. Man, I'm just worried that wire's gonna break. Uh, if you guys have any questions. Uh, about the bike, you know, my rally tower. I, I've answered some questions about the windshield. The bars are stock. Um, let me know. But the bags, I was thinking about going with the Moscow Moto ones, but these are fine. They're just, they're not waterproof, but they match the bike because the red. I'll leave the Moscow ones on the KTM. I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I did put, uh, when I changed out these rims, I did put EBC brakes, uh, brake pads on it. They're a thicker just better brake pad on both the front and the rear. Um, these, these rims are awesome. They're much stronger than the stock ones. Um, you know, my weight, I'm right around 210. So this bike, you know, 
we talk about payload a lot. This, <laughs> well, people don't talk about payload when it, you talk about it on a bike, but this, the payload on this bike is 220 pounds. Um, I'm sure Honda overbuilds that payload, but you know, I interpret payload just like any payload, right? That means everything. So I'm obviously over payload. I probably with, with me and my gear, if I had to guess, I'm probably at two, two thirty. you know, if I had to guess. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I did look at, um, um, seeing if there's a beefier axle available and there's nothing. So if anything, what I'm going to probably do is, uh, just start changing out that axle like annually. Um, just because, right? That's just like on a, on a truck, right? That's or any, yeah, like a truck. That's where all your weight is, right? It's on that axle. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. If you guys have any other tips with the Baja Squadron light with the dims, let me know. Um, like I said, I can pitch it down, but then the brights are not going to be where I want them to be. So, oh, one, one quick thing. I did put a washer in that. So there's two washers. The washers are in the inside with the spring, but there's no washer there. I just put a washer there just so it's not cranking on that plastic so much. Uh, all right, guys, any other questions? Uh, let me know. Take care.